This is not AI that we're going to be giving to um, government, local government. What we're doing is we're giving AI to them. They're the user. My client is them. So give me a good example of how your client would use your, your, your services. So we built the first Cornish AI, right? And she's called Debbie. Debbie is 52 years old, and Debbie's got two children. Mm -hmm. um, she's got a whole backstory, yep. all designed and built. And what Debbie is, she's in beta and just about to come out uh, to the whole public. And this is supported by European Social Fund money, match funded, and it's called under the People Hub product, uh, project. Okay. And what Debbie does is that you can talk to her, first of all, in WhatsApp, because what we found is these users use WhatsApp. Okay, so that's the simplicity. Yep. yep. So you just text as a bot, right? And also a web app, not an app you download. We wanted to make sure that even if you had a 60 quid Android phone, you could still talk to her. Yeah. So you talk to Debbie, and Debbie has the best, the biggest database of jobs and skills in the whole of Cornwall. It is also a universal credit estimator, a local housing benefit estimator, and a housing benefit estimator. I would say better than any out there, right? But done in a, these sort of ways. So for instance, with the universal credit estimator, as she asks questions, she asks questions as Debbie, 52 year old woman from Campbell. And sometimes she'll turn around and go, that was quite taxing that part. Do you wanna go and get a cup of tea? You can come back later. Now, normally you would have a form that you filled in. Now you have Debbie, who's gonna, alongside, give you support and encouragement to get through this and come back at another point. Okay. We wanna get rid of the forms. Okay, so in other words, you're, you're providing a very simplistic, easy to use, I'm gonna call it a platform, okay, mm -hmm. where I can access knowledge. And yeah? share data. And share data. So I can get in, so I could ask, about the location of my local um, job center. Job center, very yep. good. Yeah, my yep. apologies. So the job center. The local job center's in there, right? We've also got the, the gov.uk forward slash benefit and welfare part of the government site. Yep. We scan all that, and that happens every day. So anything changes on that, yep. we, we get to see. What we call it is the, the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy model, right? So we've got accurate answers which are on that site. So they change anything, we have the answer. Yeah. We then use AI and our little tips and tricks in order to find the right questions that people would ask. So that's what's called the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Okay. It's the question, not the answer. So you can ask Debbie questions and get the answer back in the voice and tone of someone like Debbie. So just for clarification, so to me, Debbie's actually a computer. Yeah, for simplicity's sake. So it's an artificial intelligence entity. When people ask me what artificial intelligence is, I make it very simple. It's an intelligence that's artificial, right? That's it. That's the reason why the word's there. So she's an intelligence that is artificial that you can communicate and talk to about all the different services that we just said. Mm -hmm. She does not exist in the real world. But we do this little like WWE wrestling thing that we never admit that. So I've admitted it on this podcast, but I try not to admit it, okay? That she's as real to us as anyone else. Yep. She's an important colleague and an important person who can really help people to access that knowledge. We, that emotional immersion is really important because these users need to know that Debbie is on their side and is not a government bot. We mm. do not work or represent the government. We represent the user. And the user is the primary person behind this. So that is what I get up in the morning and work late at night, seven days a week on, yeah. is what do these people need, right? I'm not out to help them. I'm not a white knight. And, and this is really important. When people turn around and go, oh, you're doing something really good. You're doing, you know, you know, this is a really good thing. And I turn around, I hate that. Please never do that. I want to make a ton of money. Because if I do then these people are gonna get a huge amount of access to the most advanced technology that's been around for 40 years and we could transform society. If I have to keep putting my hand out to grants and things like this, then it is to the whims of a politician or a grant body. But if I can create a business model where these people don't have to pay a thing and they never will, but they could have this advanced technology, then we've changed everything. And everything has changed, I think, for the better. But they are all I've got to be really clear, this is an underserved market. Mm. 